हेलो गाइस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू द टॉपिक वी विल डी व्हाट इज मीन बाय केमिस्ट्री विल डी व्हाट इज व्हाट इज मीन बाय केमिस्ट्री chemistry is the science of matter this may sound simple but chemistry is a complex and broad topic that covers a wide variety of fields from the core of the earth to the farthest reaches of the universe chemistry is everything and everywhere chemistry a definition chemistry is the study of matter including its composition properties and structure how it changes and how it interacts with energy This is a pretty simple definition that sums up what is actually a complex and fascinating subject. If you have ever asked why or how something is in the natural world, odds are good that your question and the answer were related to chemistry. For instance, why is the sky blue? Colors depend on the chemical makeup of substances and what kind of light they reflect. How does an insect walk across the surface of a pond without falling through? The unique properties of water give it a high surface tension, which means that small objects can rest on it without sinking. Chemistry is all around, and anything related to matter involves chemistry. Main branches of chemistry. Since chemistry is such a broad and vast subject, we can divide it up into more manageable topics to help us more accurately. 1. Organic chemistry. 2. Inorganic chemistry. 3. Analytical chemistry. Four, physical chemistry. Five, biochemistry. We will learn more about these topics as we go on. We have studied from previous video. Previous video, we have studied about what is the chemistry. Right now, we will study what is the importance of chemistry. So, chemistry is important for basic needs like food, clothes, shelter. So, what is the importance in the food? Different types of fertilizers and pesticides, which are prepared in the chemical industry, that is important for the generation of food. Different types of cloth like nylon, rayon, elastomer. These are the cloths which can be require chemical balance equations. So shelter. Next, cement is the important constituent of a uh, construction which can be made with the help of chemical industries. Then paper, energy creation like atomic energy. nuclear energy or the energy generated by different batteries which require a chemical reactions that is studied from the chemistry also medicine that is pharmaceutical chemistry is a important aspects of our life different types of industry no any industry in the world which can stand without help of chemistry so the chemistry is an important branch or main branch of and science let's see even our bodies are made of chemicals When we eat, breathe, or just sit down, chemical reactions are taking place. All matter is made from some kind of chemicals, so chemistry is the study of everything. But how does chemistry occur in our everyday lives? The most obvious place is in the kitchen. When we cook something, a chemical reaction occurs. The raw meat turns into cooked meat, so that our bodies can absorb the nutrients better. When we bake a cake. The ingredients cause a chemical reaction to create the batter, and then another chemical reaction happens when it goes into the oven. Even the way we store our food in the fridge and when things rot away are all chemical reactions. Another common aspect where chemistry occurs is through cleaning. Chemicals are created to target specific areas like dishes, laundry, and your body. Imagine using bleach to wash your body. It would burn. But even children know not to use bleach to wash themselves, which means that the moment we start learning about what cleaning products to use, we are already junior chemists. Medicine is another important use of chemistry. The pills and medicine we use are all made from chemicals that are there to make our body stronger and to kill viruses and bacteria. Then things like fruits and supplements can be used to prevent illnesses, and these are also produced from chemical reactions. Basically, without medicine, which requires chemistry, we would get sick very often. And chemistry is used to research new medicines. Can you believe that about a hundred years ago, people died from having a cold? It's because of discoveries in chemistry that we now have cheap medicines to get rid of the cold. Chemistry is also an important part of our environment. Fertilizers and compost for our gardens are created when chemical reactions take place. Think about how cow or horse dung is used to fertilize plants. 
People were doing it for centuries before scientists discovered how it actually works. But farmers started doing it after seeing how plants reacted to the dung. So even though they didn't study chemistry like you are, they were really good chemists. But there are more serious things to look at, like how some chemicals are nutritious to the environment and others cause pollution. Only through studying chemistry can we begin to discover ways to produce chemicals that are sustainable and not harmful to the natural world. In summary, we can see now that we're all chemists. From cooking food to cleaning ourselves, we make choices every day based on the way chemicals work. Chemistry is also important for the creation of medicines and environmental issues. By doing research in chemistry, we can find new cures for diseases as well as better chemicals to use in our natural environment. Chem Hello guys, we'll discuss our first topic that is introduction to chemistry, some basic concepts of chemistry. In this topic, we will discuss uh, what is mean by chemistry, what are the branches of chemistry and basic concepts regarding to the chemistry. So we will study from the name of the topic that is what is mean by chemistry. Chemistry is the study of matter related to the physical and chemical changes occurs called as chemistry. So study of matter, you know, what is mean by matter? Matter is anything species which can occupy space is called as matter. Means anything around us is matter that is solid, liquid and gases. These three are matters means everything is chemistry. So we have to study this chemistry with the different branches. So what are the different branches of chemistry? So chemistry has these five basic branches. So we will study one by one. First physical chemistry. So what is mean by physical chemistry? Physical chemistry is related to the or physical chemistry is applies to the physics which is related to the laws, theories and different assumptions regarding to the chemical reactions and chemical equations. Second, organic chemistry. So what is mean by organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is the study of carbon and their compounds called as organic chemistry. Third one, what is mean by inorganic chemistry? Inorganic chemistry is study of elements other than carbon and their compounds. So other than carbon means all elements of periodic table, all elements of periodic table study in inorganic chemistry. Not only element but compounds of that elements are also studied in inorganic chemistry. Next, analytical chemistry. So what is analytical chemistry? Analytical chemistry is isolation, separation and purification of any compound with the different techniques called as analytical chemistry. Next, biochemistry. So what is biochemistry? Biochemistry is the branch of chemistry related to the living organism. It means the chemical processes related to the living organism can be studied in biochemistry. Next concept, matter and classification of matter. We have already studied the matter. Matter is anything species which occupies space. Next one, classification of matter. So what is the classification of matter? Matter is classified in the two different ways in the major categories. It is pure substances and mixtures. So what is mean by pure substance? Pure substance has a definite chemical composition with having definite property or having proper chemical properties while mixture have indefinite composition with uh, indefinite chemical properties so pure substance has further classification so pure substance is classified as elements or compounds so what is mean by elements we are already studied the elements in the periodic table or compounds in the chemistry so what is elements? Elements are pure substances which having which cannot be broken down into the broken down into the number of constituents by chemical processes by ordinary changes or chemical changes. So any substance, if you observe an element iron, if you observe an element iron which cannot be broken down into the different iron, iron cannot be broken down into the magnesium and calcium like this one. So elements is pure substances which cannot be broken down by chemical processes or by chemical changes. So, this is elements. Second, compounds. So, what do you mean by compounds? Compounds which can be broken down into the different constituents by chemical changes. So, what are the elements? Elements are classified in the three different ways. First one, metals. Second, non-metals. And third, metalloids. We are already studied the uh, properties of metal. So metals are contains luster, 
डेंसिटी टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ मेलेबिलिटी डक्टिलिटी सो हाइड्रेटिंग पॉइंट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट दीज आर दी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल सेम विद द नॉन मेटल सिस्टम सो नॉन मेटल्स आर नॉन लस्टर कंपाउंड्स व्हिच हैविंग लो डेंसिटी व्हिच कैन नॉट बी फॉर्म्स अ वायर थिन शीट लाइक वी आर नॉट कंपोज मेलेबिलिटी एंड डक्टिलिटी व्हाइल मेटल मेटलाइट्स आर द कंपाउंड मेटलाइट्स आर द एलिमेंट्स वी शोस सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ और वी शोस बोथ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल एंड नॉन मेटल कॉल्ड एज मेटलाइट्स next to this so what is homogeneous mixture and what is heterogeneous mixture when two or more than two substances forming single one phase called as homogeneous if you mix water if you mix water and sugar if you mix water and sugar so it forms single one phase called as homogeneous mixture but when you are taking sugar and sugar and sand which cannot homogeneous which can be separated called as heterogeneous mixture so what is homogeneous which forming a single one phase or you can take water plus salt table salt hcl we can take water plus salt which is homogeneous one and second heterogeneous which can not be single form single one phase so this is single phase which is cannot form single one phase we can take second example for this one as an water plus oil so this is heterogeneous one properties of matter so what is the properties of matter so we will discuss in which measurement of properties to study any property or to the study of matter we have to study the properties of matter and for the study we have to measure it so if you have to study the properties of this system so what we have to study color weight Length. These are the properties of this matter. So we have to study properties of matter in chemistry. For that, unit is required. Means which color is there? How many length is there? Or how many weight is there? One kilo, two kilo. So these are the different properties of this pen. Same we have to study in this topic. So chemistry has a uh, different substances with the different units. Different study the unit. What is mean by unit? the arbitrarily decided and universally accepted standards are called as units arbitrarily decided means and universally accepted what is universally accepted it is accepted by all universe means if this pen has red color in india then it is has it has same red color in us it has same red color in pakistan it has red color in afghanistan so or it has red color in china so any unit if you are taking the weight of this compound is 500 g if weight of this pen is 500 g if weight of this pen is 500 g in india the same weight will be observed in the different countries the same weight we have to observe in the different countries or different places that is universally accepted and arbitrarily decided called as units so the uh, different units we are studied in the standard 8 9 10 